so guys welcome to new channel leaves and lungs so uh, we've been uh, doing videos upon plant breeding right now we are in the middle of a sea actually uh, so the topic we gonna see today is about on male sterility and its type actually this is like an overview of the topic we are not going to in depth actually first we'll look at what uh, what are the types and what is the sterility and what is the use of the sterility after looking those uh, main topics we'll just dwell into the crosses and everything okay we'll just go into the topic so uh, before going into the definition of the male sterility i'll just give you a basic overlay or outline actually so imagine this is the flower and this is the male part and this is the female part okay when you cut this male part what happens to the flower it becomes unisexual right so with only one sex can it self pollinate no way actually so without a uh, self pollination how can the plants be uh, mated uh, then it paves the way for cross pollination so ultimately this is the technique in order to inhibit self pollination and to promote cross pollination one of the technique that's been used is male sterility right so we'll just look at into the uh, details of uh, the definition so sterility is male sterility is defined as as the name itself implies it's an absence or a uh, non function of pollen grains that is pollen grains become uh, useless or it is the incapability of the plants to produce or release functional pollen grains and uh, what what it's it used is actually it's used in the hybrid seed production where it has a great importance because it eliminates the process of mechanical emasculation so as i said earlier you don't need to pluck it out uh, from the flower with your hands by inducing male sterility it becomes uh, the pollen grains doesn't produce or the pollen grains becomes ineffective so this is the technique that is usually followed in male sterility so uh, there are different types of sterility have been uh, introduced Uh, so uh, there are basically five types of male sterility so you can see that one, one is genetic male sterility so before going into the types i'll just give you an overlay of the structure of a plant cell imagine this is a plant cell this is a nucleus okay so when the sterility determining recessive genes so sterility is always determined by a recessive gene so uh, male sterility recessive gene is like this ms ms allele so when this uh, recessive allele is present inside the nucleus the sterility is termed as genetic male sterility whereas if the recessive gene is present extra nuclearly that is outside the nucleus uh, that is in the cytoplasm it is called as cytoplasmic male sterility so these are the two most main important sterility phenomena that has been used for plant breeding as well so third one is it's like a bit of combined as like a cytoplasm as well as genetic male male sterility okay as the name itself implies it's like a, the, the recessive gene is present either uh, inside the nucleus or like in the cytoplasm and the fourth one is like chemically induced male sterility by applying chemicals you can induce the sterility also and then is transgenic 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 is like an differently entire topic we'll be discussing this in uh, the next top next lectures as well so genetic male sterility so as i said earlier in the previous slide that genetic is nothing but it mainly concerned with the genes okay when you talk about genes you talk about nucleus when you talk about nucleus you talk about chromatin network so chromatin network contains thousands of genes and when this sterility is determined by the genes that is present inside the chromosomes it is called as genetic male sterility as i said earlier the definition follows the same here so the pollen sterility that is which is caused by the nuclear genes is termed as genetic or genetic male sterility and it is always usually governed governed by a single recessive gene ms as i said earlier it's the same but in few cases like flowers and like a uh, safflower the dominant gene governing male sterility sometimes can determined by the dominant nature so they arise spontaneously or it can be induced artificially also and it is also found in several crops like peas and pea castor tomato barley cotton etc and finally uh in order to maintain a male sterile line you should have to cross it with the heterozygous male fertile plant so this is very obvious why because this is that male sterile plant you have a female part here but the male part is rendered useless you have another plant here with a fertile male and a female so the male from here fuses to the female here so this is an heterozygote and this is a male sterile form 
when this mating occurs it produces one is to one male sterile and male fertile plants so this is how the uh, uh, male sterile line is being conserved and uh, the restoration of the uh, fertility is also recovered so how it is utilized in the plant breeding so it is always used in a hybrid seed production because there is not going to be another use except in a producing hybrid varieties and it is also used in both in seed propagated crops as well as vegetatively propagated crops so it poses one of the most difficult limitation because uh, roguing of male fertile plants from the female is very very costly that is separating the male fertile plants from the females is very costly and uh, because of this uh, the seeds uh, that produced by this technique also tends to be uh, on a higher note so therefore gms has been expo uh, exploited commercially only in few countries and in few crops in usa it is used in castor while in india it is used in uh, cajunus cajun that is rr seeds and the next thing is cytoplasmic male sterility uh, cytoplasmic male sterility uh, is, occurs due uh, due to the mutations of the mitochondria or uh, some of the cytoplasmic factors outside the nucleus so the recessive gene is going to be present outside the nucleus and uh, the nuclear genes are also not going to get involved here so the area of action is always going to be outside the nucleus got it particularly in maize dna resides outside in the um, mitochondria and may be located in a plasmid like element also Usually, the cytoplasm of the zygote comes primarily from the egg cells, and due to this, progeny of such male sterile plants would always be male sterile. Usually, the cytoplasm of the zygote comes primarily from the egg cells, and due to this, the progeny of the male sterile plants would always be male sterile. Some important point you could write in the uh, answers as well, because this this point can obviously fetch you great. Uh, so uses. So the main use of this is like. Uh, uh, this type of sterility is useful in the crops where seed is not the end product so examples like in onion and other many ornamental plants the hybrids can be developed by employing this cytoplasmic male sterility technique and it also ex exhibit maximum hybrid vigor uh, because with respect to their longer vegetative duration and also their larger flower size the larger bulb size and finally it's been exploited in maize for producing a double cross hybrid also so these are the basic uses when it comes with the cytoplasmic male sterility so don't worry for those people who don't understand i'll explain everything in detail in the next coming chapter because as i said as i stated earlier itself it is just an overview it's just like synopsis the main topic will be dealt later with a lot of crosses and a lot of tables with in depth and vigor okay so that puts an end of the topic to so guys the topic will be continued the next time so stay tuned to our channel so do subscribe to get more and more awesome videos so thanks for the time that you spent here cheers and have a happy day bye bye